Hi, I'm Cody. In this video, you'll learn how to connect MailChimp for Salesforce and sync your Salesforce data with your MailChimp account. When you connect the Salesforce integration, you can quickly pass your leads and contacts from Salesforce to MailChimp and target them with specialized marketing content. The MailChimp for Salesforce integration supports both classic and lightning versions of Salesforce. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the classic version and choose your sync settings. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. To install MailChimp for Salesforce, I'll navigate to the MailChimp integration app on the Salesforce App Exchange. Then I'll click Get It Now and log into my Trailblazer.me account using my Salesforce credentials. To ensure the app functions as expected, MailChimp recommends choosing Install in Production. Not all features are supported in Salesforce Sandbox, so if you choose to use the app in Sandbox, your data will not sync properly to MailChimp. I'll go ahead and click Install in Production, and on the Confirmation Installation Details page, I'll check the Terms and Conditions box and click Confirm and Install. From here, I'll choose Install for All Users and click Install. And in the Approve Third-Party Access pop-up modal, I'll check the box to grant access to third-party websites and click Continue. Installation may take a few moments to complete, and Salesforce will notify you by email after it's finished. After installation is complete, I'll need to finish setting up the app. To do this, I'll return to my Salesforce account, click the App Launcher drop-down menu, and choose MailChimp for Salesforce. I'll be directed to the MC Setup tab, where I'll click Login, and in the pop-up window, click OK. I'll enter the MailChimp credentials for the account I want to connect to Salesforce, and click Login. On the Authorize MailChimp for Salesforce step, I'll click Allow. Awesome! Now MailChimp can create Salesforce leads from my subscribed contacts who are not already Salesforce leads or contacts. If you're not ready to allow lead creation at this time, click Come Back Later to move to the next step. Since I'm ready to create leads, I'll check the box next to Allow MailChimp to Create Leads in Salesforce and click I am ready to map fields to continue. Next, I'll map my Salesforce data fields to my MailChimp audience fields so that MailChimp will sync information to the correct place. To map my fields, I'll click the drop-down menus under Salesforce Lead Field and Salesforce Contact Field to match them to an existing MailChimp field. Everything looks good here. Now, if I have a contact or lead field that doesn't match one of my existing MailChimp fields, I can choose to add a new field to my MailChimp audience. Under Add a New Audience Field, I'll just select a field type from the drop-down menu and input a field name. If I want this field to be a required field within MailChimp, I'll check the box next to Field Required. Then I'll click Add Field. I'll repeat this process as many times as I need to, and when I'm done, I'll click Save to continue. Keep in mind that you'll be prompted to map fields for every MailChimp audience in the connected account. If you don't want to map fields for a particular audience, Click Save to move ahead in the process. After you connect the Salesforce integration, you can also customize the app to display MailChimp data in Salesforce and grant team members access to key features. This allows you to quickly view subscriber activity and campaign statistics with customized page layouts. Check out our guides and tutorials to learn how to customize the Salesforce integration. For now, I want to choose Sync Settings and turn on Data Sync to share between Salesforce and MailChimp. Because MailChimp data can take up a lot of space in my Salesforce account, it's possible that I may exceed Salesforce data limits. To help prevent this, I can choose settings to determine which MailChimp audience I want to sync, to only sync subscribers from a particular audience, or to limit how long MailChimp activity is stored in Salesforce. I can also decide which MailChimp audiences I want to allow to create leads in Salesforce. To choose sync settings for my audience, I'll come back to the MC Setup page. On the Audiences tab, I'll click the Sync Settings drop-down menu next to my audience, then choose a sync option for each connected audience. To ensure campaign activity such as campaign opens, clicks, and sends are passed to MailChimp, 
I'll choose the Keep Activity setting. The Sync Subscribers Only setting will sync audience and group data for subscribers. I have one last thing to show you. How to turn on data sync and lead creation. After you've chosen your sync settings, you'll want to turn on data sync to make sure that MailChimp and Salesforce communicate and share data regularly. I'll navigate to the Settings tab and toggle the Data Sync slider to a blue check mark. And in the pop-up modal, click OK. Now, my MailChimp audience information, such as recently added segments and new subscribers, will be passed to Salesforce every hour. And MailChimp campaign activity will be sent to Salesforce daily at midnight in the time zone associated with my Salesforce account. At the same time, new contacts will be sent from Salesforce to MailChimp, and field data on existing contacts will be updated. Next, I want to create new Salesforce leads from MailChimp subscribers. To do so, I'll come here to the Allow MailChimp to Create Leads in Salesforce section and toggle the MailChimp Lead Creation slider to a blue check mark. After you choose your sync settings, it may take a while for your initial data sync to be completed, especially if you sync a large MailChimp audience. While you wait, visit the Monitor section of your Salesforce account and view Apex or Scheduled Jobs to check the status of your data sync. And that's it! Now, you can view MailChimp campaign activity as well as use the Query Builder to add leads and contacts as subscribers into MailChimp. For more information on Salesforce for MailChimp features, check out our guides and tutorials.